Monday night, it is the end of the day here and we're back in San Diego or San Marcos. We're here at EV West and it kind of hits me that I really haven't explained to you guys what I'm doing here. Um, I'm doing a conversion. Is that guy right there, the 1969 Gia. And it's not mine, it's for a customer. But the reason why I'm converting it is because we wanna shoot a video that gives you a step-by-step -step as to how to install one of the kits that you can find or purchase from EV West. As you guys know, EV West sells a bunch of parts and they have kits for all these BW cars. Uh, including for the Gia, and so there's no video that goes along with it. So that's why we are here I am here to shoot that video and so that's what I'm gonna do most of the day I'm gonna be actually doing the work and shooting that and I already started editing that and I have four minutes of it But it's gonna be a long video because it's uh, beginning all the way to the beginning all the way to the end And so these vlogs here, you know, I'm just kind of shooting stuff what I get to do while I'm not doing that you know if anything comes up that is interesting and pretty much anything around this shop is going to be interesting currently my camera was resting on this batteries here which are the Tesla Model S batteries these in itself here are very interesting and I can make whole videos about them are the next generation uh, 18650 cells you know, the fact that they are going to go in this car right here. It's going to be a pretty cool project, right? So much more energy dense. These batteries will go longer and they're lighter and they're smaller. Um, and uh, we get to play with them here. Trent is doing these boxes here. They're going to be pretty cool. What else can you find in here? What's going on in this room? This room we're doing the uh, the Lorian is going to be Electrify one day. This is Hutch's. Uh, what is this? What kind of car is this? Yeah, Spider yeah. 124. A Fiat. What he said. Here, it's kind of stuck. It's, it's got motors and it's got batteries. It just hasn't been finished. That's a tra tragedy. 914 right here. Nice. Here's the old uh, M3. Then there's uh, Trent's car. This is what he's working on. Oh, here's Bruno. Bruno. Say hi. Say hi to the YouTube audience. Bruno. Yeah. Oh, no, don't be afraid of it. It's just a dead cat. Anyways, this is Bruno. He's a shop dog here. He hangs around. Actually, there's a bunch of them. It's like a whole gang of dogs. Uh, and then this is Bream's new shop truck which is gonna be pretty cool. It's currently not, well, it has a motor already, but that's it. Motor, that's about it. Oh, two chargers? Nice. All right, and then here we have the Samba. The Samba is charging. I'm charging the Samba, because last week, I was running out of juice towards the end of the week, and when I had to head out back home, then I had to stay here like an extra three hours just to charge it, so now, Taking advantage and just charging. Um, he's got all our stuff here, all our equipment that we need to shoot and to stay out here for the whole week. Update on the transmission. <laughs> uh, might have to buy a new one. Oh no! Those parts are hard to find now. Oh jeez. Yeah. Okay, for everyone that doesn't know, um, he's the owner of the Chevy truck. People are asking. Oh yeah. And the, cause you know, I've been, it's, they've been uh, seeing it. Yeah, it's an old three speed that uh, bent input shafts. Uh, I think some of the bores are Something's messed wonky. up. So um, yeah, you know, it's seen a lot of miles. It's got a lot of wear on it. So everything is loose and got play and you know, some parts you just can't get anymore. Yeah. So what's the plan? I'm uh, gonna see maybe, Put a couple more days of looking on eBay. Hopefully, find a new tranny, a whole new tranny, or like well, just... a whole new tranny I can find. Uh, Fortune's guy uh, up in Orange County that rebuilds them, so he's got some available. But um, you know, if I can find parts, that'll be parts. the cheaper route. Otherwise, but you still don't know which parts are like the ones that are making. Yeah, I spent the whole weekend checking, like with the dial indicator on every part, which is yeah. tough on gears. I mean, all you can do is just check the oh wow the You're outer checking. edge and uh -huh. uh, but I mean they they're looking okay. But yeah, one gear 
definitely out of round. Oh. So maybe that's some, but I pulled it, still spun it, still get a lot of wobble. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> like detective work, like yeah, you're going into the individual uh, gears. I have put the thing together and taken it apart, like every individual piece. I'm down to just the, the main shaft and input shaft, no gears in it, spinning. And that's straight. So I at least know the shafts are straight, but yeah, it's oh, down man. to maybe the counter gear, second gear. Um, but man, parts start adding up. And it's almost the cost of just getting the whole rebuilt transmission. So yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. But I would love to drive it because, I mean, we've only put like 200 miles on the thing so far. Yeah. The electric motor's been great, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's all those old... The mechanicals. Yeah. All those mechanicals. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm tempted to just weld up that shaft and make a direct drive <laughs> <laughs> who needs gears right? yeah <laughs> well yeah we we want to make a video about this guy people are uh yeah the last video yeah, that i put people it. were like hey there's a truck what's going on with that truck yeah yeah i mean oh, like, certainly they're they're pretty unique you don't see too many of them anymore so yeah um, especially yeah. electric Oh Probably yeah, the only I, one. I think I've looked. I don't think there's any other. I think I found one, like 1940 Dodge that maybe was converted a few years back. That's oh, yeah. about it. A lot of the newer like S10s and Ford Rangers, but uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think, don't those think are not cool. These trucks. are the cool ones. Yeah. All but, right. Well, we can't wait to see it on the yeah on the road. Uh, I want to get to driving it. <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> Duck, turkey. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, look at that. Bruno, he's interested in being a, a TV personality, right? You like this. Cocaine it's, a, uh, it's a good job. Of like rehab center. It's a good job, yeah, you know, yeah. you get fans. All right, guys, it's late, but it's never too late to mess around with batteries. We're going to test a 60 amp hour LiPo cell. C. Oh, how much we will give us you need polarity on this yeah oh uh why are you gonna torture that battery <laughs> what is that battery? In the name of science you? all right you give us so two to one amps our volts on uh, three two one oh it went down so, to 3.1 3.1 hey that's not a lot of Dude, again, yeah it's 3.7. Yeah, so 3.7, min was 3.1. Uh, 3, 2, 1. Oh, that was 600. So there's a lot of sag. There's more sag, but it was but, putting out more current. But those. But I bet Crazy high good. impedance in those. In fact, yeah. pull these off. Pull, pull this They're probably off. hot. Watch. Yeah, see, now if we really wanted to do this. Which is Wow, these tabs those. are thicker than you think. They're not that, they're pretty meaty. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, we put cool, like the, the a block. The cool thing too would be set up the FLIR camera. Uh-huh. And do that at the same time, just put it on a little sticky over here and let it record. Because that's yeah. always fun with shit like this because you can actually see the heat property. See, yeah. yeah, you see where it's losing. Damn. All righty. Whoa, look at this. Check it out. Take a break from the pressure. They fought for? They all blend together. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to show you how to install a chill plate. First thing to do, we have to clean both surfaces. All right, so the next step is to apply the silicone. Black high performance RTV silicone. I'm mounting to that controller. Let the silicone set. Tomorrow we'll, we'll install it on top of our controller plate. Michael, this concludes the first week. Let's get out of here, man.